Welcome back, I am Dr. Ruckus, and today we are playing Grixis in Ranked Standard. Uh, this card's got all the best three drops. It's got Corpus Appraiser, a busted three mana, three, three, that uh, comes down, can power up your bank buster to make a four, four blocker, and you also get to look at the top three cards, add one to your hand. That's a lot of value for a three drop. Fable, also a lot of value for a three drop. Between these guys, your three drops are just very strong all the way through. Trespasser, I like. There's so many things you can put in this deck. You can put Liliana, Phyrexian Arena, Soul Transfer, Kaito, like... Uh, even Jace, though I tried Jace last time, I don't think you need it in this deck, but I like the Trespasser a lot. Little Graveyard Hate is nice, uh, the life gain is nice against aggro decks. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this guy. And then two copies of Brothers Hood End. This deck is very good at dealing with decks that go tall because you have Invoke Despair, which gets rid of anything basically because they have to sack it, but it is weak against decks that go really wide when you're behind and you know, you're on the draw and you hit some tap lands and you're a little bit slow. It's nice to have Brothers Hood End in there. It can, of course, also sweep up your opponent's artifacts like their bank busters in the mirror. And if you don't like it, you can always cycle it away with Fable of the Mirror Breaker or the Harvesters. In addition to having <coughs> lots of ways to kill creatures, we also have some Planeswalker Hate. Split between Voltage Surge and Cutdown, because Voltage Surge can hit Planeswalkers. Uh, one Underdog in the Graveyard is very threatening against Planeswalkers. They can no longer just play it unprotected. They have to worry about an Underdog coming back. And if you have Underdog plus a removal spell, then their Planeswalker just dies. So I like that flexibility. And... Um, of course, we have Mistress Foundry in the mana base as well. Little sneaky 2-2 that can threaten Planeswalkers. So that's the deck. Enjoy the gameplay. Let's dive right in. On the draw, this is a lovely looking opening hand. Lounge on three, get our color stir all of our colors together. Harvester, if they kill the harvester, we get to corpse praise, hit the next land, Shelly on time. It's all good. Grixis versus Grixis, and they get the bank buster draw. Okay. Fast land harvester it is. Tap land, I like that, okay. Now we don't have a great Corpse Appraiser turn. So I don't think we burn it. I think we attack here first. See if they want to kill it. Nope. I think we just drop the next Harvester here. If we can get value out of the Corpse Appraiser, it's just so big. Oh, a little Make Disappear action, perhaps. Nope, Abrade you, that's fine. All right, <clears throat> we could cycle a Shelly away, but I don't think we need to do that. Aha, they have their own Corpse Brazer, okay. Okay. Well, we can always bin our own Harvester to kill theirs and then do our own Corpse Brazer, which I might do ahead of Shelly. Yeah, let's keep these uh, Blood Tokens around. That's not bad, I'm not complaining about that. Okay, fine to play this out. Let's go ahead and uh, sack you. Yep, they crew the bank buster response. That's okay. It's not what we care about this turn. We care about hitting that next land on time. Take their appraiser. We can always cycle hit the land. Ah, we actually don't hit the land here. I guess we take the cut down in case we absolutely have to cast it, but try to cycle it into the Invoke Despair land. Okay. We played out Takanuma this turn, right? Yeah, we did. Alright. Corpse of Praise again. Annoying. Okay, Harvester gone. Been two lands on their side. All right, cycle you. Try to get the Invoke Despairs going. There's the land. Two mana open, none of them. Actually, they do have blue. We haven't seen and Make Disappear yet, but is it worth playing around? There are no other creatures for Corpse Appraiser, so it's not a good Corpse Appraiser turn. I think we're just going for this first Invoke Despair here. Okay. Let's see it. You got the Make Disappear? Probably max two in the deck. Okay, power you up. Is that because you're... Okay, they sack that one. More lands okay with me. And that's all for the turn, but still a good turn. Opponent's down to 11 with double Sheldreds and Invoke Despair in hand. Strangle. Cheap removal. Okay. Fable. Okay. Can pick that off with Invoke Despair. I think we do. K 
can't stop make to spear again. They didn't have it last time. I think we still go for it here. Otherwise, it's just a Shelly turn. Try to keep him off the enchantment and the uh, treasure generation. Nice. Both down. That's pretty big. <clears throat> just a tap land this turn. Could save it to cycle, but I like developing our mana. If we can do Sheldrip plus something else soon, I'm pretty happy with that. <clears throat> Game's definitely not over, though. All right, they get their first Invoke Despair off. Okay, another untap land. <clears throat> Pretty happy to Shelly here first. Try to start pushing lethal. They take their draw immediately beforehand. Okay. They do get a blocker out of the deal. I think we Corpse Praise here. We like most of our hands still. So we'll Corpse Praise this turn instead of Fabling. Pretty happy to bin that one land, but... Take their guy. I think we just keep taking Corpse Appraisers. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Trespasser's interesting, but... Yeah, let's just take this guy. Keep the value train going. Okay, they don't have instant speed removal. So they eat two down to seven. But they do have soul transfer. No enchantments, they don't get the extra value out of it. And Fable returns, okay. They can power up the Bankbuster to block. We're probably starting with Shelly. Do we want to be able to play through Make Disappear? I think that's fine. Okay, we'll play you out first then. Let's get the Shelly online. Cycle the Lounge in response. Okay. Nice to know they're all tapped out. So we could attack an Infernal Grass, the Bank Buster. It's actually not bad here. Drops them really low. Okay. Down for that. Yep. Power up you in response. We'll take you out before blockers. Then you have to block with the 2-2. Two -two. Or eat 3, drop really low. Take that block. Okay, and here we can cycle the blood token at some point. <clears throat> Could have even done it before they declared blockers in case we hit a 1 mana easy speed interaction to take out that other blocker as well. Cycle Takanuma. What are we getting back here? <clears throat> Aren't there many creatures? Are there any creatures? They're hoping to bin one? They bin no creatures. Right? Oh man, if they take the Fable draw here, it's painful too. I think they're just hoping to hit something. They just take two more triggers down to one, and they scoop. Alright, man, the... <laughs> any any game where you or your opponent has like triple or quadruple corpse appraiser, it's just a pain in the ass to deal with. Like, that card's good. Uh, what? What is going on? Oh, is it March of the Machines? Is that what's going on? Uh, okay, yeah, we can keep this. Wait, before, I, don't, I usually don't record, like, the intro part. I guess we want blue here for me to appear on two. But there was, like, a date on it. April 1st? What is it today? Today is April 1st. Is it April Fool's Day? Okay, is that what's going on? Oh, man, I was tripping out. I was like, what is going on, man? Um, Cool, we can play this out. Hold Make Spear. What does this do? Lantern of the Lost. Graveyard Hate. Okay, sure. Cool. Uh, Fable it is. Get that ramp into Invoke Despair. Okay, draw a card. Cool. Liliana, sack a creature. No Invoke Despair for us this turn. Could bin make Despair. It's nice for their Invoke Despair turn. If we bin Trespasser, we get it back with a Corpse Brazer soon. Probably just playing Shelly this turn, though. Yeah, let's bin both of these guys. Keep the Corpse Brazer. Okay, it's all right. And yeah, we'll try Shelly here. See if it just dies instantly or not. I think we've been the land. We can always get another one off the Corpse Appraiser.
Liliana part two, okay. Fine. One for one removal, no problem. Next invoke despair. Flip you. It's definitely corpse brazer here. Try to hit that next land for invoke despair, probably. Cut down, Kiki Jiki dead. Get the old Grixis value though. Sure, we could get someone back with Takonuma at some point. We want the land, we want the untap land. How are we doing on black? Uh, we have all four black sources, so we can take the untap here. Doesn't matter because we haven't played land this turn anyway. But we get to hold up and go for the throat, so I suppose it's worth it. Alright, fifth land acquired. And we hold up and go for the throat this turn. Alright, fifth land. Is it their own invoked spare turn? Nope, it's a bank buster. Okay. And a trespasser. Okay. I think we leave that. Don't need to go for the throat it. We'll invoke despair instead. Now I have to discard. I move. More land for us. Okay. Probably save a pain land damage if we do this first. Otherwise, potentially draw a tap land. We're okay taking the one point of damage. On the off chance, um, we draw a tap land. We want to get it down this turn. Should they crew the bank buster? They want to sack the bank buster? That's pretty... Oh, they just want to leave it back to block. That's fine. All right, we got the draw. And no attacks this turn. Okay, three cards in hand. Next, Invoke Despair. Looking good, unless they Invoke Despair is back. Okay, they take the draw first. Three mana open. Trespasser takes someone else. Who's down here? No more creatures on our side. Could take their own Trespasser for the life if they want. Okay, they take Invoke Despair. Not relevant for us. Harvester. Could probably invoke despair here again. And save. Wait, how's the auto tapper working here? Wants to leave open red? No, let's not do that. Manual taps. We want to leave open um everything except blue is fine. Okay, run this back. See if we can hit untap land. Okay, we do. Can swing here first. And probably drop the Harvester this turn. Blood token could be useful to cycle lands at this point. Got plenty of mana. Wait, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I noticed like the stuff on the screen earlier. I just now have noticed the pizza and the coke and the goblin balloon brigade and the chips. Uh, highest power. Guess we sack the Harvester. The Corpse Praiser doesn't die to cut down. Backup Corpse Praiser, very nice. Getting close to lethal here. Okay, take the Harvester. I think we just take removal. Just get ready to close out the game. Swing for three. And suppose we drop the Shelly. Let's see. They scoop. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, we had a Nice draw. Classic Grixis value draw, I would call that. Okay, wait, I'm recording this part just because I don't usually do it, but it has a play and like a thingy and a April 1st uh, date. And then this whole fuzzy thing. I didn't record it all last time, so just doing it this time. Okay, on the play, blue and black, no red. We have the bank buster. Mm, it's a pretty sus keep. I think this is a mull here. No red. Okay, all our colors at least. Keep this. Might actually put back Invoke Despair. If we curve out, it's amazing. We have a lot of two drops, though. I say we put back Mage Despair. Let's keep the curve from um, in, uh, Fable into Invoke Despair. Okay, gotta hit land, so it's Bank Buster time. Golgari, Loma Speaker. All right. Have to take the draw immediately because we have to hit land here. We do. That's nice. Okay. Doing our best. Can Fable next turn. And potentially invoke despair the turn after if things go our way. Manual taps on green. Fight rigging. Okay. So that's what we're up against. We have good answers via Infernal Grasp. But uh, if it's like a Tyrannix Rex, we might get owned. It's gotta be a fable turn here, I think. 
just because we need the mana. Yeah, it's got to be. Got to claw our way back from the multi six and lack of lands. Other options are, you know, ooh, six six. All right, yeah, we got some stuff to deal with. All right, let's see. Is it Tyrannix Rex or what? Oh, it's a Traxa. Oh God. Okay, that's not good. What else do they have here? Seed Core, Atraxa, another Archfiend. Oh, we have our work cut out for us this game. Whew, we need all the removal in the world to get through all this bull honky. Ugh, the ultimate punish for this low start. Seed Core. Why is it even in the deck? Okay. Appraiser helps us dig for things we desperately need. We need a creature in the graveyard to get there faster. Maybe the underdog here. It's definitely one Appraiser. And it's probably the underdog as well. Just, we don't need it right now. Tap land is not what I wanted to see. Okay. We could Corpse Appraise now to hit the next land and Infernal Grasp one of these guys. <sighs> Let's do it. Down to 17. Sure, you're gone. Okay, there's the untapped land. Now we can attack and still use Infernal Grasp. Okay. We block with the Life Linker. And we kill you. And we still have to deal with the 7-7. Seven, seven. But if we can hit more removal, one way or another, um, you know, we can kill the Loam Speaker, play Invoke Despair. It's going to be tight. We need a lot of things to go right this game. You have to play the next one. Okay. <sighs> Make you an 8-8. Eight, eight. All right. Yep. Drop us to 7. So we need two removal spells this turn. Is that even possible? That's not our removal spell. I don't think it's possible to win from here. I think we have to take the draw no matter what. But I don't think there are enough cards we can draw. So that answers one of them, of course, but then they still make the other seven power, unless they mess up here. There's nothing else we can do with that extra mana, so we don't need to attack with anything. Okay, so our only chance to not lose here is if they put the fight rig encounter on the 8-8 instead of the 6-6. Otherwise, we're toast. But yeah, they had a very explosive start and we had an extremely slow start. Yeah, they put it there, so that's game. So we go for throw one of them, but just too far behind to catch up versus this janky deck that uh, popped off. Good game, goodbye. Yep, down to zero, okay. That's fine. On the play with an okay hand, we'll keep this. Hold open Voltage Surge on one, the Rakdos Fastland. Mono Red Phoenix Share. Probably no time for the Harvester. Unless, um. Unless we hit like a 3 mana 3 3. Then Bank Bush is pretty good. It's very hard to get through. We don't, though. I think we play the Harvester to block here. Okay. Fell on. Take the trade, yeah. Give him the draw. I guess if we don't, we can just minus it next turn. That's maybe worth it, actually. No blocks here. Keep him off the extra card draw. Underdog as well. So let's go ahead and uh, pick you off. They don't get the draw effect. Keep playing out blockers here. Not sure anything worth cycling. We could maybe cycle the Bank Buster against Mono Red, actually. That's not the worst call. Mechanized Warfare. Okay, they take a turn off, but damage is coming. It's tough. They took a turn off. We're at 18. We could keep the Bank Buster and draw this turn. Okay. So that's what we're doing. We can Invoke Despair as soon as next turn. I don't even think we attack with the Underdog. I think we hold it back to block here. And try to draw our way to victory. They only to play one creature here. Invoke Despair is a good answer. Shivan Devastator for X equals 3. Okay. Well, that hits pretty hard this turn. 
No blocks, obviously. Cannot block the flyer. Take our draw for two. Invoke Despair. Looking good. Okay. Hit that untapped land. Invoke Despair the opponent. We are down to 14, but this clears out both the enchantment and the creature. Quite good. And I think we're still holding back the underdog. Blocks really well against a hasty creature and can power up the bank buster. At some point we have to turn the corner, but I don't think it's yet. Devastator again. Alright, I mean, that is a card that will give us a run for our money. Cannot block it right now. Eat four again. That's ten. My turn. Yep, we'll run back Invoke Despair here. Still not sure we're attacking, though. In theory, they'll run out of Jeevan Devastators eventually, but... Okay, we can play out the land here, and then cycle uh, one of the lounges. Put us down to 14. I still think we hold back. Fell on. Okay. We'll trade off the underdog. See how they get the draw three effect. There's no way to do it otherwise, right? I think that's how it has to be. Luckily, the trespasser can gain a little bit of life, though. All right. Get your draw three. It's pretty good for you. <clears> okay. <throat> well, the adversary doesn't have a whole lot to flash back. They don't have the mana this turn, maybe next turn. So they probably just play out the Swift Spear here. No, they take the adversary for next turn, maybe? Okay, we will cycle. Drop off one of the tap lands. Cut down's great. Harvester will be big, though. Does Takanuma get back anyone good? Not really. Harvester's okay. Start with the Trespasser. Probably take the Phoenix Chick, I suppose. Because they have no instants down here to get. Okay. A little bit of life could matter. Hold back the Bank Buster to block the 3-3 Adversary when it comes down. I think we play out the Haunted Ridge and hold the Lounge to cycle potentially at some point. Okay. Holding Cut Down and Takanuma and the Bank Buster draw this turn. Let's see if they have Burn Spell. Play Adversary, get it back. That'd be a lot of damage. What's that last card going to be? Scoop! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Eat the Grixis. Two lander on the play. Best case scenario is Voltage Surge something. Get the Corpse Raise on three, but it's just too much to have to go right. At least we have land. Keep this. Can maybe put back the lounge. Just keep all our untapped lands. Yeah, that's good mana anyway. I think that's okay. I guess if we're going to play a tap land on one anyway to open up um, Voltage Surge, then maybe put back this guy instead. Okay. So we can't Voltage Surge on one, no matter what. So we'll do it like that. Mono red. So Sphere, okay. Probably Voltage Surge immediately, unless we hit a two drop here. We don't. Let's kill this thing now before they can pump it up past the two damage mark. Smith zero. <sighs> Trespasser's not bad. Gain a little life. <clears throat> it's a Feldon. Annoying, but understandable. Down to 17. Harvester's good against Feldon. I think it's still Trespasser here, though. If they want to target it, then so be. Working our way up to Invoke Despair. See if you have Lightning Strike. They do have exactly Lightning Strike. Okay. Been a land. And Phoenix Chick. <coughs> Down to 15, doing our best here. It's a great draw. Here comes Harvester. The question is, do we cut down the Feldon or the Phoenix Chick Flyer? Shivan Devastator, X equals 3. I feel like I've seen this before. <clears throat> then we cut down the Feldon and take everything else, leave the Flyers. Pick off the chick next turn with, by sacking the harvester. Hopefully top deck the land. I think that is my preferred mode. Take four here and top deck that untapped land. This is the time to do it. Heart of the cards, baby. Okay, not it, but we answer the devastator here. I think we sack the harvester, pick off the uh, 
chick now. Bye. Okay. And here. Grass the Devastator. Dropped two life lower. Ugh. That's painful. Um, I guess we kill the Raiji before combat. It's more damage. All right. Down by two, then down by three. Still just have to top deck the untapped land. Even then, it's not game. We need to draw into Sheldred next as well. Down to six. Okay. My turn. It's a tap land. It's a tap land. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. Looking like game here. E3, eat a lightning strike. Eat a fat. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Down to three. Kumano down to two. <sighs> no play with fire. Corpse Appraiser. Not at this turn. I have to deal with the flyer. Unless we want to Corpse Appraise into a removal spell. But that's too iffy. Now we just take the take the spare. We can get it. Kumano down as well though. Go for the throat. Is not a bad answer. Can you find two damage this turn? Yep. That's two damage. Goodbye. Oh, Mono Red. <sighs> Alright, thank you for staying to the end. If you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like, comment, and a subscribe. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.